Yeah, so if you look at you know asphalt, just like we talked about, you know, it's like a layer of cake. So if you've got layered cake, pre-layered cake, you have base layer and the middle layer, then you surface. We were trying to maintain all the character that was here. So in order to do that, the more layers you take off, naturally the more you place, the smoother it gets. So we knew if we went all the way down, if we didn't have to, we would be able to maintain a lot of the character. So we only took off that top layer of asphalt, but placed it back with the top layer of asphalt to try to mimic a lot of those imperfections that were in the track, uh, maintain that character the drivers like, look for that makes the track hard to race or hard to navigate. This track has got a lot of character, even with the new pavement. It is smoother than it was, but it's still got a lot of character still. Yeah, absolutely. So most ovals, I mean, I know all the ovals that we've paved in, in the Speedway family, the Speedway Large Works family, and, and the ones that ISC's done recently that I'm aware of, they've never paved in echelon. And so in echelon means that you've got two pavers going at the same time, offset a little bit, which creates a hot seam or hot point. Normally you have a, a pass of asphalt like you see on the highway, they'll make one pass and they'll go for three miles, and the next day they'll back up and they'll, they'll go another three miles. Well, again, that aspect, that's always the weakest point of the point in maintenance that causes you issue for the future, right? So on a highway, everybody that's familiar with highways to see potholes happen, you know, those seams are at. And same thing on a race track. Even though it's not driven like a highway, those seams are always the weak spot because it's naturally two hard surfaces. So it's like taking two books and buddy it together, or it's turned the pages and intermingled the pages. Now they're together and stronger. That's what a hot joint compared to a cold joint looks like. We've never paved an echelon on a oval. We've done it on road courses, but never an oval. This is the first track of ours, and I'm pretty sure on the NASCAR, the last 20 years, it's been paid in dashing. Um, that should give us a great longevity product. It should make it way better for the drivers not having that seam to feel, because you always feel that seam regardless of how good a pavement contractor is. Um, this makes it just almost seamless, uh, which should create wider racing, two wide, three wide, hopefully in the city here, a few months. Yeah, so we, you know, we started looking at mixed designs because naturally the old adage when you repave the racetrack is five to six years, you're going to be stuck to the bottom of the racetrack, the single file racetrack, so grippy, so fast, and fastest way around a racetrack is the shortest one is the, at the white line. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we started looking at that, you know, in the last few years we've faced several tracks. In Atlanta, we changed the mixed design up a little bit to try to get to a point where we would get more fall offs, so the, the grip would go away on the racing surface a little bit more. And we achieved that, you know, with NASCAR's help of measurements and then looking at it and just what they do with Goodyear and all the technology Goodyear has today. Uh, we lost 10% grip in Atlanta from your first repave to a year later. So this year, and we kind of saw that in the race, right? Like the race, they had to search for grip a little more. We had some pretty wide this year, whereas last year it was primarily two, you know, uh, which is awesome. That's, that's what we're trying to shoot for. And so we don't want that first five to six years to be just a single file at the bottom. Um, so here we went a little bit more aggressive. We, we changed the mix design a little bit more to try to get that achievement of an older track and quicker. Uh, less grip is basically what you're looking for in an older track. It's not so much that it looks different physically from the high, but it creates a little bit different from the car tire. Uh, you want to make sure that the, they're having to search for grip instead of being stuck to a certain point. So hopefully we've achieved that. We'll keep playing with that. The seat, you know, here, four or five months. So what it looks like from year one and then a lot of other year to test it again.